Johnny Kaju. Um, I'm a Lodi Bay resident and been here for several years. Um, been married and have two lovely children. And um, my husband here is um, at another level CrossFit and I am a two-year cancer survivor. And with this community, um, they've outreached and helped me through the process. My oldest daughter um, got married and a month after I went for my wellness checkup and was diagnosed with cancer, breast cancer. And after that, that started the process. Um, went through the chemo um, for the whole year. After that, went through radiation. Um, had its ups and downs. It's like a roller coaster. I had the good days, the bad days. Um, my number one goal was to drink tons of water through chemo. That's the only thing that was told was tons of water daily, drinking, drinking, drinking. Um, that helps with the nausea. And also my one thing that I can, I tell every other cancer patient that I met and coached through is to buy the Gin Gins. Gingins help with the nausea. Um, unbelievable how one little product can help you through the whole stage. Um, I'm presently coaching another woman that's going through breast cancer. Um, maybe just a small text daily. Um, maybe just a funny little quote. Emoji. Those little emojis are amazing for people because a lot of people going through this treatment sometimes don't know how to express their feelings back to somebody because it's usually always negative. I had several family members send me um, cards in the mail. One family member sent it every single time after every treatment, which was every other week. Several um, employees of my husband called while we were going to treatment. Um, small little prayer was all that it needed for the day to keep me going. Always having a smile on your face is what you need. That positive attitude. So, thinking that, you know, got to do it this week and then two weeks later you got to go and do it again. So, because you pump up with medicine two days before treatment and then after you have your treatment you've got three bad, bad days that are down and out that you're wondering if you're going to make it through it but you struggle drink the water drink the gin gins keep that wig on keep smiling keep yourself together every day getting up just as if you were to go to work you know nothing changes keeping that normal look feeling being around your friends I don't think Kevin, my husband, seen me one time with no hair. And I don't even know if I even showed my daughters. <laughs> the, the hair's a little bit of an issue, but everyone says it, it comes back. It's a simple thing, but when you're going through it, you can't explain it. You can't explain it. Um, just the stages that you do, you go through. But it grows back, and now I have hair. And I've even had two haircuts. <laughs> um, if it wasn't for my husband, um, it would have been a struggle. I know there's a lot of women out there that do not have a husband, and that just shows me how strong they are that they can get through it by doing it themselves. And there's several people out there that do it by themselves. And that is just a blessing that they can be that strong and get through breast cancer. I was actually at work when I got the phone call, left everything on my desk and never returned a year later. My treatment, um, I had an infection in my port which continued on over a year, so I wasn't able to return back to my job, which I completely understand. Um, my health was my concern. Um, after treatment, when I was able to start exercising, um, I drank protein shakes through my whole treatment, 
um, in order to stay for my nutrition. Um, it was amazing what the doctors had said in regards to protein shakes. Um, that was one of the main things that other breast cancer survivors need to know while going through treatment that just the water and the intake of a little, the minimal amount of food that you can get in your body, you need that additional, um, some sort of shakes. Um, I know there's other brands out there that um, you could check with your doctor to see, you know, what's available. Um, once I became well enough, um, in regards with the lymphedema, um, I was told that I needed to start exercising by walking and then eventually I started into water aerobics. So I built myself up to three days a week with water aerobics which helps with the lymphedema and circulation of your body. The support with everybody um, through the water aerobics was amazing. Seeing the progress that I had um, helped with myself and then it, I decided that it was time to look for a job, wanted to make a change, didn't want to go back in my old routine, didn't want to get back in that rut, the stress. Doctor said number one thing is no stress, nutrition, and take care of yourself with exercise and exercise is one of the main things in regards to staying healthy. Through um, breast cancer, you really need the community support. There's so many support um, places out in the community. Sometimes you feel like you don't know where to reach out to. Um, with my husband, another level CrossFit came in with the community and supported me. Um, and now that they've supported me through the community, I feel that I need to reach out and help out with others. Um, I'm supporting a couple breast cancer patients right now through um, my daughter and through family and friends that have contacted me. Um, but with this community in Lodi and the support, um, it's really good to reach out. After being diagnosed and going through treatment, I feel that um, it's been a great change in my life. Um, somewhat of a blessing that it's kind of a light bulb being opened up that um, change is good, it makes you realize things in life that maybe you never did, that maybe you should um, always say you're going to do, just do it. Don't wait, you know, don't sit back on that back burner, you know, just enjoy life. Don't think about the bad, move forward, take one day at a time.